Welcome back, folks, to Fishing Planet today. Uh, I'm going to test out some good questions you guys have had on some recent videos. Um, for one, you can check my uh, unique counter down there, 6628. You guys have been asking if these antlered salmon and unique furry trout actually count for your uniques. Um, and then some other questions here I'm going to test my, uh, if my own fireworks worked as well as others. Uh, and I'm not actually sure on that. And which firework is best? Uh, somebody asked if peaks matter. And I don't think they do, but we're going to see. And if you can catch them at night, which you could last year, but we're going to test it this year. And let me see here on my notebook. Um... If shooting multiple fireworks help, I don't know that if that does or not. We're going to try it out. Actually, that last one kind of sounds like you're going to waste fireworks. Um, but we're going to try it out. I'm going to sit here and fish day one at White Moose. So I will see you guys here in a minute. So, interestingly enough, uh, that was only a few seconds for you guys. But for me... That was that was six hours, and I have definitely answered a lot of the questions uh, for sure. I feel like I'm pretty confident. Also, if you're looking at the unique count, these definitely count as unique still, like last year and previous years. Um, and I fished the whole day, so six hours is a full fishing day. I have some time left, but not a big deal. Um, and I have answered a lot of them questions. <laughs> Uh, right off the bat, <laughs> this video wasn't supposed to be this, but it's turning into this. That is 236 uniques I caught in that one game day. That's insane. Um, I, I don't know if that should be a thing. <laughs> also, in my bag, I have 131 uniques, which is crazy to me. Um, that is by far the most I've ever done. I'm not really into filling bags up for just showing off or, um, I, it kind of seems superficial to me. Um, but this is definitely the most I've ever had a uniques in one bag. My previous best, I think was like 81 at Sander Bager C on Bream. Uh, I don't really do that type of stuff much. I don't necessarily fill my bag up for that or money um, but you can see here i'm still on day one uh if you look at the top corner let's see there yeah it's 445 so i still have a little bit of time if i wanted to catch some more i'm not going to uh, i think 236 is enough so some of the questions we had here guys um was uh my fireworks versus the others and i didn't notice a big difference it did seem uh I, I like to have definitive proof on stuff and some of these are hard to have definitive proof it seems like when uh others did shoot theirs off uh i did have more a little bit more luck than when i did but not much and which of the fireworks is best they all seemed even so if you guys notice my I bet you, I don't know for sure, but I bet you I sp spent six, seven hundred in bait coins, um, even testing all the different types in the shop. Um, and I used up all these two right here because they were expensive <laughs> and I wanted to make sure I did get them. I do have, still have actually a bunch of the other ones left, uh, still, let's see right there. So I still have a lot left. Um, and I didn't really notice a whole lot of difference between that either. Um, I also tried putting down multiple fireworks at once, and that did not make a difference. 100% that's a waste of your rockets if you do that, or your fireworks if you do that completely. I even put like 10 down a few times just to try, and it didn't make any difference whatsoever. Um, and I've fished these a lot, but especially sitting here for six hours specifically looking, that one didn't matter at all. Same with the peaks. It didn't matter if I was off peak, on peak. 
Um, you know, occasionally he slowed down a little bit, and I just threw out another firework, and they started working again. Um, and then also, uh, in the night, you can still catch them at night just fine, as you can see in my bag here. You will find uh, probably a lot of these late night. I spread them all out. These, so you can see, they're all pretty spread out. Um, now, obviously, I couldn't fit all 236 of them in my bag. <laughs> uh, but these are the ones that could fit. <laughs> but you can see the times are all over the board and everything. Um, but, yeah, so... A lot of questions I had are answered, uh, definitely. So for you guys wondering, Shiners versus Minnows versus Spawn Sacks, I already tested that the other day, and Spawn Sacks, or Large Minnows and Shiners work pretty good on a 4.0. If you're going for big ones, use a 6.0. The Spawn Sacks weren't bad either, but they did get some Burbot. Um, in fact, the whole time I sat here, I caught two Burbot in six hours using large minnows uh so i really prefer that method if you're going for these um i caught a common and one trophy like an eight pound trophy so yeah yeah if you're wondering about that but anyway pretty crazy i did not expect this to turn into how many uniques can you get in one day type of thing but uh i int unintentionally did that <laughs> And uh, I've never seen over 100 uniques caught in one day. I, in fact, I've never seen, other than uh, one bag I did at St. Abrego, see, I've never seen over 80 caught in the, a bag. Not that it really matters at all. Like I said, I don't normally uh, care about that. I just thought it was really cool that it fit 131 uniques in a bag. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time, folks.